A high school student is charged with stealing thousands of dollars in rare coins from his own family. Police say Ella Curran of Latrobe stole an entire collection of precious coins, and police tell Ross Gadotti Curran claims he wasn't the only person involved. Ross. Yeah, he did say that two of his classmates were allegedly involved in this big scheme that they all referred to as the job. And according to what the suspect told state police, he did this, and he did admit to doing it, he did this to buy a lot of marijuana. Investigators say 19-year-old Alec Curran's plan was pretty basic. To try and steal $100,000 in rare coins from Mr. Curran's parents. Troopers say the Latrobe High School senior need only walk down the hall of his own home to have found what he was after. These coins were kept in a, in a part of the house in a safe that you'd have to have knowledge to get into the safe. You'd have to have either a key or you'd have to have a combination to, to get in there. Now initially, Curran told detectives, it wasn't me, but when asked to take a polygraph test, he would then admit to taking the coins, but he also said he wasn't alone. Curran allegedly telling troopers two fellow students at Latrobe High School were in on the job, as Curran called it. But when the alleged co-conspirators spoke to investigators... Those two people deny any involvement whatsoever with Mr. Curran. In this case of home is where the heist is, troopers say they're still trying to figure out where the coins are. As for an alleged motive for all of this, Curran told troopers... His cut in this elaborate scheme was going to be five large bags of marijuana. All right, Curran's family, we stopped by their house today. They declined any comment. Alec Curran right now in the Westmoreland County Jail, held on $50,000 bond, facing obviously a felony theft charge. Coming up at 630, where are these coins right now? State police are still trying to figure that out. And just who tipped troopers off that Curran might be a suspect? That's coming up. Please join us then. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDK News.